Welcome to this video course, Hands-on Web Development with Vue. My name is Roman Kuba, I am come from Austria, and I'm currently front-end developer at a company called CodeChip. You can find me on Twitter and at CodeBrio, and I'm always happy to engage in any kind of discussions, and if you have any feedback or questions, please feel free to reach out to me using Twitter. Over this course, we're going to start in section 1 with a rolling start in Vue. We're going to learn all the basic ins and outs, like rendering lists. We're going to use custom methods, exploring the view lifecycle, and all the basics to give you a good understanding of how view works. In section 2, we're going to start to build our full view application. You'll be introduced to what we're going to build over the rest of this course, and then we'll kickstart our application using view CLI. You'll be introduced to view single file components, and also how to use them with external NPM packages. Section 3, we'll be looking at client-side data management. We're going to learn how to create new data on the fly, how to route between different data sets. We're going to have a deep dive into vModel and how to use it to build a form. And also, we're going to use some two-way computer properties. That should be something interesting. We will follow up in Section 4 with a deep dive into state management. We will investigate what's a flux store, how to build a new flux store from scratch, and then we're going to start to implement Vuex, what is the state management library provided by Vue, and also what it's bringing to the table. And eventually we're going to learn how to persist data in the local storage, or even in a product like Firebase Firestore. In section 5, we're going to look at how to test Vue components. You'll be introduced to the Vue test utils, also, how to test the Vuex store, and how to test nested components, and we will round it all up with snapshot testing. In section 6, we're gonna roll up what we built in our application, and we're going to end with some real-world tips and tricks. How to use in production, how to use Vue with an existing stack, we're going to look at mixins and plugins, and also, are going to send you on your next steps, and introduce some cool projects that you could start using afterwards. What is needed over this video course? All you need is a modern browser. I'm going to use Chrome. Also you need an editor. I'm going to use VS Code over this video course. And you also should have a terminal with Node installed, ideally version 8 and up. And of course something like NPM or Yarn. I'm going to use Yarn over the course of these videos. And what's also recommended to have is an understanding of JavaScript or basically ECMAScript, how it looks right now. And this means we're going to use some array methods, spread operators, all those things that became standard these days.